Hello friends, welcome back. We were discussing chapter reproduction in plants. Till now we have discussed that uh, how reproduction takes place in plants, two methods of reproduction, asexual and sexual. Then we also discussed uh, various part of the plants, reproductive part of the plant like male reproductive part, female reproductive part. Then we discussed about pollination. We also discussed about various type of pollination. And now we know that pollination is transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma. What is pollen grain? Pollen grain is the male gamete, right? So this is all that we have discussed till now. Now today's lecture is very important because today we are going to discuss that how the male gamete and the female gamete fuse and what happened after that. The ultimate aim of reproduction is to produce offsprings. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss that how uh, offsprings are produced in plant, okay, by sexual reproduction. So let us start the chapter it is very interesting and i hope you will like it so before we proceed i would like to tell you once again that uh, there are uh, two types of gametes present in sexual reproduction whether it takes place in plants or it takes place in animals in case of sexual reproduction there are two gametes male gamete and the female gamete and both the gamete fuse together to form zygote okay so Male gamete and female gamete they fuse together to form what they form zygote. As we have discussed in our chapter reproduction in animals, so we know that male gamete and female gamete fuse together to form zygote. Now, similar thing happens in case of plants also. In plants also, there are male gametes and uh, female gametes that used to form zygote. The zygote later gives uh, uh, rise to embryo. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss that how this zygote is formed. Okay? But what do you call the fusion of male and female gamete? So fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. So this process of fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization and fertilization gives rise to what? It gives rise to zygote. The zygote will later form embryo. Alright, so let us start. Now, when we are talking about plants, we know that male gametes is what? Male gametes are pollen grains that are present over the anther. We had discussed it earlier also. So, in case of plants, the male gametes are the pollen grains which are present on the anther. So, these are tiny little pollen grains which look like uh, yellow dust which are present on the anther. Okay? And what is anther? It is a part of male reproductive system in flower. Okay. So this is a anther. This is a male reproductive part. This is anther. This is filament. The anther consists of tiny dust-like yellow particles known as uh, pollen grains. So these are pollen grains. The pollen grains are the male gamete. Okay, these pollen grains they are the male gamete. So these pollen grains they are male gamete. Alright. Now what about the female gamete? The female gamete, that is the egg cell, it is present inside the ovary. So let's just have a look. This is a crystal. Is a female reproductive part. This is stigma style and this is ovary. Now, ovary consists of a small sac like structure known as ovule, and this ovule have the egg cell. Okay, this egg cell is the female gamete, and this, this is the stigma. This is style and this is ovary. Ovary consists of ovule 
and O we will have this X cell. Okay, this X cell is the female gamete. This X cell is the female gamete. So this X cell is the female gamete. All right. So this is clear to us now that the this is a anther this is filament and it is a the whole structure is known as stamen that is the male reproductive part and this whole structure is known as pistil this female reproductive part. Okay, and now we know that the uh, female gamete is actually the egg cell which is present inside the ovary in the ovules. So ovary consists of ovule and ovule, ovule consists of a egg cell which is the female gamete. And in case of male uh, male reproductive part, this is the uh, stamen which consists of anther and filament. The anther consists of tiny particles, small yellow particles known as pollen grains. These pollen grains are the male gamete. And we also know that fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. So what will happen that this pollen grain, it will uh, fuse with this egg cell. The process is known as fertilization and it will give rise to the zygote which will form the embryo, which will form the, uh, which will form the seed actually, which will give rise to the new plant. Right? So this is clear to you. But the question is, how this male gamete will come to the female gamete? How the fusion will take place? How the fertilization will take place? So, let us discuss that how fertilization will take place. But before that, let us write the definition of fertilization. So, what is fertilization? Fertilization is fusion of male and female gamete. Fusion of male and female gamete. Fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. In case of plants, male gamete is what? In case of plants, male gamete is pollen grains. And female gamete is the egg cell. So how this fertilization will take place? So let us discuss that. We know that Through pollination, the pollen grains transfer to the stigma, which is a part of female reproductive uh, part, which is a female reproductive part. So, This is a flower which consists of anther and this is a flower which consists of the pistil. Now the pollen grains or these may be present on the same flower but just let us assume that here there are two different flowers and the pollen grain will transfer from here to here that is from anther to stigma. Now this pollen grain, it is the male gamete and the transfer of pollen grain is known as what? It is known as pollination. This is, we already know this. Okay, so pollination will take place and the pollen grain will transfer from anther to stigma. Now what will happen here? Let us zoom this out and check out what will happen here. The anther, uh, sorry, the pollen grain, 
is something like this. If you zoom out the ant uh, pollen grain, you will find this uh, its structure is something like this. Okay, and it consists of two cells, which you will uh, study in your higher classes in detail. But uh, let me tell you that these two cells are known as vegetative cells and the generative cell. The generative cell is actually the cell which is going to fuse with the egg cell. So this is our pollen grain which uh, which have settled on the stigma. Now what will happen? There will be a formation of pollen tube. We have zoomed this out. Okay, we have zoomed this part. It will look something like this. So what will happen that as the pollen grain settles on the stigma, it swells and there is a formation of a tube-like structure. So there will be a formation of a tube-like structure which is known as pollen tube. And due to this this formation of pollen tube with the help of this pollen tube the cell which is present inside the gamete will move down it will move downwards and in the lower part of the uh, Pistil that is here where ovary is present. This is ovule and it consists of the egg cell. So this pollen tube it will lead to this egg cell. Okay. And through this pollen tube the cell which were present in the male gamete it will come and fuse so just draw this cell with blue color so this cell which is present in the male uh, the m the sorry the cell which is present in the pollen grain it will come and it will fuse with this egg cell. So let us zoom this out again. So this is our ovule and this ovule. This is our egg cell. And this is the generative cell which was present in the pollen grain. Now these two will fuse and it will form will give rise to the embryo. Okay, we will fuse and it will give rise to the embryo. This embryo is actually the seed. Let us draw the rest of the part also. Okay, now what we have discussed till now. सबसे पहले क्या होगा एंथर पे जो ये पोलन ग्रेन से ये आकर स्टिग्मा पर स्टिक होंगे इस प्रोसेस को हम पोलिनेशन बोल रहे हैं जैसे ही ये स्टिग्मा पर आकर स्टिक होगा तो ये धीरे धीरे स्वेल करेगा और इसमें से एक छोटा सा पोलन ट्यूब का फॉर्मेशन होगा ये पोलन ट्यूब जाकर कहाँ पे मिलेगा ओव्यूल में ये जो पोलन ग्रेन है इसमें दो सेल्स है वेजिटेटिव सेल एंड जनरेटिव सेल अभी हम इसकी बात नहीं करेंगे बस हमें ये पता होना चाहिए कि इसके अंदर एक सेल है That will fuse with the egg cell. Okay? So, this cell hai, it will come uh, down with the help of the pollen tube and it will fuse with the egg cell. As the egg cell se fuse, hota hai, it will give rise to the uh, embryo. The embryo is uh, actually the seed and this ovary it gets converted into the fruit. Okay? So, this whole part whole ovary will get converted into fruit and rest part of the flower that is the petals and sepals all of them will dry off and this will give rise to the fruit this will form the fruit and this will give rise to the seed of the fruit 
और राइट और हमें पता है सीड को जब हम सॉइल में डालते हैं तो उस सीड से नया प्लांट ग्रो करता है ठीक है तो दिस इज व्हाट रिप्रोडक्शन इज रिप्रोडक्शन में क्या होता है दो मेल गैमिट्स फ्यूज होते हैं उनसे जाइकोट बनता है एंड देन डेवलपमेंट विद हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस स्टेजेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट फाइनली दैट जाइकोट गिव राइज टू द ऑस्ट्रिंग सिमिलरली प्लांट्स में भी ऐसे ही हो रहा है मेल गैमिट फीमेल गैमिट के साथ फ्यूज हो रहा है दैट इज नोन एज फर्टिलाइजेशन और फ्यूजन के बाद क्या बन रहा है साइकोट बनता है फिर एम्ब्रियो का फॉर्मेशन हो रहा है द एम्ब्रियो इज एक्चुअली द सीड एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द ओवरी इज द फ्रूट एंड द सीड इज एनक्लोज इन साइड द फ्रूट वेन एगर वी ईट द फ्रूट वी डिस्पर्स द सीड एंड वेन द सीड्स आर डिस्पर्स इन द सोइल दे फॉर्म द न्यू प्लांट दे गिव राइस टू द न्यू प्लांट ओके सो दैट इज वाई दिस मेथड इज नोन एज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स ठीक है तो एक बार फिर से देख लेते हैं यहाँ पर ट्रांसफर को हम क्या बोल रहे थे पोलिनेशन यहाँ पर ये क्या है पोलन ग्रेन है ये भी देखा कि पोलन ग्रेन के अंदर दो सेल्स हैं वेजिटेटिव सेल एंड जनरेटिव सेल एंड वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट द जनरेटिव सेल क्योंकि ये जनरेटिव सेल ही फ्यूज होगा आप इसके बारे में और डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे आपकी हायर क्लासेस में पर अभी के लिए हमें जस्ट ये पता होना चाहिए कि इसके अंदर एक सेल है दैट इज नोन एज जनरेटिव सेल विच इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द पोलन ग्रेन ए सेल एक्सेल के साथ फ्यूज होगा और इस प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमिट इज नोन एज फर्टिलाइजेशन फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमिट इज नोन एज वॉट इट इज नोन एज फर्टिलाइजेशन तो फर्टिलाइजेशन तो जाइकोड का फॉर्मेशन होगा एम्ब्रियो का फॉर्मेशन होगा उससे द एम्ब्रियो इज एक्चुअली द सीड एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द ओवरी कन्वर्जन टू फ्रूट सो दिस इज हाउ the fertilization takes place and this is how the formation of fruit and seed take place all right and next time whenever you eat a fruit you should remember this whole story behind the fruit all right so this is all for today's lecture now i hope you know that how fertilization takes place in plants and how uh, formation of fruit and seed takes place and it is very important to know that the fruit it is formed from the ovary and the seed is actually the ovule i mean it is uh, actually stop stop so this is all for today's lecture we'll meet in next lecture till then bye bye